Hey there, Capricorn, what's going on? How are you guys? Thank y'all so much for your love and support, your positivity, your good vibes, um, just all that good, great positivity and light. Thank y'all so much for it. I, I really do appreciate it. And as always, I do send it right back to you. So Capricorn, let's go ahead and talk about your general love messages for the middle 10 days of November. All right. Now, for many of you, these messages could resonate to the entire month of November, all right? Um, but the focus and the intention here will be the 11th through the 20th. Messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Crosswatcher, meaning someone who's dealing with a Capricorn, these messages could be for you, but they are general, so make sure that you do not force a message that doesn't fit, all right? Now, with that being said, fit it to your life the best you can. Uh, and use your own judgment and intuition, okay? So messages for Capricorn, for love, romance, and relationships for the middle 10 days of November 2021. What are the messages for Capricorn? All right, that's it. Capricorn, this is really deep. This is really, really deep. So under the deck, you have let go. Um, I believe Taurus had that same card also under the deck as well. So if you're connecting with the Taurus or if you have Taurus in your chart, um, you know, you may want to check out that also. Now, anyways, with that let go card under the deck here, Taurus, uh, of course, spirit is trying to get you to uh, either actually, you know, let go of something that you're doing or something that you're connecting to or something that you're pouring your energy into. You need to either cut the umbilical. OK, or maybe, uh, you know, a thinking concept of some sort. OK, you need to go ahead and let that go. So we'll leave that over here to the side for a second and we will come right back to it. OK. Um, I'm sorry, I I didn't even mean to see it, but right under let go is shift gears. So yeah, spirit is definitely trying to get you to like shift the way that you're either doing something or thinking about something in an attempt to uh, pull you away from, from something, uh, something that you need to be pulled away from. Okay. But all right, let, let, let's go further. All right. Now on your top row, you have captured, you have electric touch. And you have coming together, all right? So this is what I feel here based off of your top row energy. I definitely feel like, um, I feel like your, your heart has been captured by someone. I feel like with the heart in the cage here, it's clearly saying that your heart really belongs to someone, not in the possessive sense, but just more so in the, you know, <clears throat> not in the literal sense, but definitely, you know, in the metaphorical sense. OK, um, you know, your heart is captured, right? Your heart belongs to someone or you're you're you've caged your heart in order to protect it, you know, in some sort of way. But we do have electric touch here. All right. Um, and I get the feeling that there is an energy that you've identified as being just so magnetic and so electric and so powerful. Right. That you're hoping to come together here with this energy there with the come together card. So it's almost as, as if you've kind of shielded, shielded your heart out from the rest of the world in order to, I guess, save it. I feel like you're trying to save it for a particular person. OK. During these 10 days now uh, in your bottom row, we have lasting love. We have wings of love. And then we also have ending. I feel like this is OK. So this is, you know, if. This is where the, the thinking, I feel like, is a little bit warped here for some of you. And and I'm not trying to be, you know, I'm not trying to be preachy or anything like that. I don't mean to sound that way, but 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 this is what it is. OK, so we got the queen, uh, the queen, what the queen? What? <laughs> we got the lasting love card. OK, with the wings of love. I feel like what it is is, is um, 
again, you have this person as the ideal person that you're going to be with. So it's like you've already made your heart. It's like you're, you're already married to this person in your heart. You've already made your heart unavailable to anything else. Okay. And this wings of love is, is this. I feel like this is just talking about the intensity, right? This, 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 this bird here is going off to make her nest. Okay. And she's doing it in love. So I feel like it's, this is about like, you do anything for this person. You know, not only have you, not only have you completely shielded your heart away from the possibility of any other connection with anything or anybody else, but you're doing it because it's like, you just have a strong belief that, you know, that the feeling is mutual or you're having the strong belief that, uh, you know, that you're supposed to be with this person, okay? But again, spirit is telling you to let go, to shift gears, all right? Now, we also have the ending card here was the last card, remember? So we have ending here. So this is about spirit. This is spirit, okay, saying, all right, you need to cut that off, Capricorn. Cut that off, all right? And I'm not even saying that you shouldn't feel like this for this person, right? Clearly, there's this person that you're connecting with, and clearly you have feelings for them. And I'm not saying that you should cut this person off completely. However, this is talking about you making, again, making your heart unavailable, making yourself very, really, really closed off to no one else but this particular person, okay? And Spirit is saying it's like that, that level of intensity here. Okay, is what needs to shift is what you need to let go of. All right. Because even under that, we do have the soulmates card. Okay, so this person is a potential soulmate for you. All right. But the way that you're going about. Um, the way you're going about it with this person, it, it's just I feel like there's a certain level of intensity Capricorn that. Who. Okay. I mean, but clearly with that electric touch card, I just feel like this person definitely has affected you in some in some sort of way um, to a degree to where it just makes you feel like, hey, you know what? Like this person is worth it. You know, I, I, I do want to be with this person or I do want to have lasting love with this person. OK, but I do feel like it is about maybe you are kind of coming on a little strong. Yeah, Capricorn, you may be coming on a little bit too strong here for this person. All right, let's go ahead and get some tarot pulled out and see what else we can see. All right. Now, sometimes these extra tarot messages, uh, they really have, uh, sometimes they have a connection to this love message here. And sometimes they don't. And sometimes even if they don't, I try to find it. I try to make that shit connect. But, you know, I'm only one person. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see what else these messages say. Let's get one more shuffle. Okay. All right. All right. So, general energy is the three of wands. So, you're waiting on something. Okay. Um, yeah, you could be waiting on this person maybe to return the sentiment of how you feel. Um, or you could be just, you know, ready for the next stage of what's next in life. Okay. What's crossing that energy is the tower. So this is that moment of needing to let go. Okay. So spirit is saying like you're 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 really ready. You're being ready. You're being uh what's the word? During this time frame, it's like you're being very, uh, like you are kind of being preemptive, like towards life, like you're really ready to like just get into anything um, or you're really ready for anything to come your way. Okay. You're prepared. Okay. You're ready to start a quest. You're ready, you're ready to like, uh, you're ready for, you're up for a challenge here. Okay. And the challenge could be just again letting go of your own of your own mindsets about uh how you should handle yourself when it comes to pursuing a relationship. Okay. 
and then as a general message, this is just saying, you know, just uh, spirit may be saying, you know, you know, just be careful what it is that you're showing up for. OK, because you may be signing up for some some sort of disaster. OK, so we got the four of pentacles here. OK, yeah. So, again, this is you being really, really guarded. OK, as we talked about before, I definitely can see these two cards here together and why they would show up like this. OK, with the captured card. Um, there's 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 a, a, a very strong idea. I feel like that you're really clinging to here. OK. OK, now in your thoughts, I do have the nine of wands. And in your emotions, I have the five of cups. I feel like the reasons why you do things the way you do things, Capricorn, especially as it pertains to a uh, relationship, is I feel like um, you think that you will regret it if you don't go all in, right? And it's like, you know, you possibly could be setting yourself up for hurt. And in many cases, you have been hurt in this way, but it's just your approach, okay? It's you may, I feel like you, I feel like you make yourself very, very unavailable. You kind of cut yourself off. This Four of Pentacles tells me that you kind of cut yourself off to the outside, okay? And then it's like you just focus on solely one thing, okay? But this Tower card is telling me that there is going to, this. That there's a moment here during this 10 days where you are going to have to have some sort of realization or there's going to be something happen that helps you understand why you can't behave this way. And again, I'm not trying to sound preachy, but it does just very much sound very toxic, you know, where you are just making yourself 100% available for someone and just coming on really, really intensely, okay? Um, and like I said, it's like you kind of regret, you kind of have regrets and or you kind of think like, okay, well, if I don't do that, I'm going to regret it. If I don't try to put my all into it, then how can I say, you know, I didn't give my all. But there's a difference between giving your all and then just completely making yourself like their wife in your head before you even say hello to them for the first time. Um, anyways, the outcome card here is the queen of swords. Okay. Oh, so there is some sort of conversation that might end up being had. Oh, and under the deck is the five of, uh, five of, uh, yeah, the five of wands. Wow. So the outcome card, the queen of swords, and then under the deck, the five of wands. So that's so interesting. There is going to be some sort of conversation. Um, I feel like someone is going to be speaking their, speaking to you, Capricorn. I feel like this is a conversation of where, you know, maybe someone is saying, hey, Capricorn, like, chill, okay? And I'm not trying to, like, give you guys this, I'm not trying to give y'all, like, this thirsty type of, uh, you know, story or anything. I'm not trying to say that you're thirsty. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying you're intense as fuck, okay? And the person that you're connecting with just cannot respond to that right now. Like, they don't, you know what I mean? So this is actually quite an interesting reading here, Capricorn, because there is some conflict. And that conflict does come from you letting go of, like, your approach to how you um, show your interest in this person, okay? You know, you're ready to go all in, even if it, even if it hurts you in the end, it's like you're ready to go all in because you can't say that you didn't try if you didn't go all in, right? But I just see you showing, I feel you being like really, really, I feel like you being really, really, really prepared. You're really, really, really green. And to this other person, it kind of feels like, okay, Capricorn is being intense and I need to tell them about that. And that's where that queen of swords with the tower comes in, okay? So, and again, it creates that, uh, it creates that five of, uh, that five of wands energy of conflict, but you know what, right under that five of wands is the chariot. So there, the, the relationship or the connection actually does begin to take some of some form of a direction. Okay. After this conversation or after this tower moment. Okay. So Capricorn, let me know how this works out in the comment box below, but I definitely appreciate y'all's time and energy and love and support as always. Um, 
please hit the like button, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell as well. And Capricorn, I'll see you guys in the next message. Bye.